in almost every organization there are some users that have some access to some systems and then those users either move along into the organization or leave the organization altogether and let's say that you don't have a good privilege management system uh, to deal with that how can curator help well let's see this particular uh, offense here authentication attempted by an unauthorized user and see what what, what this is all about what we see is that uh, curator is actually already gathering 224 events there are 224 lots events that are condensed into a single uh, uh, offense and if we want to understand why this offense was actually created we can actually go as we have done before and display the actual rule that fire on this uh, particular event so we click on that uh, suspicious rule and we see that uh, when on the local system we found an event with the category authentication and this category is you know all the type of logins attempts that are possible in our system and when any of the username are contained in a terminated users alphanumeric uh, this is a name terminated users with the name of a reference set let's take a look at what's in that reference set to do so we go into the admin tab and go into reference sets management and we see here that here this terminated user alphanumeric is the, the 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 type of data contains usernames of all these guys you know Mr. Spock, James Smith, Craig Mack uh, and all the, all these guys it's very important to to understand that this reference set can be created and can be updated via the RESTful API that I show in another uh, in another video. It's very easy to actually do that. So from your identity management application, if you don't have that uh, an identity management that is integrated into that like ours, well, you can easily take any any identity management and actually uh, when, when a user no longer is, is a privileged user or no longer is in the organization, you can actually uh, execute the RESTful API call to add that person into this list you can delete users as well from the list I mean ev everything you need you, you can actually do so let's go back to that uh, particular offense and see a little bit uh, more things about it so so let's take a look at those uh, 224 events and we see here that you know we have all these events let's take a look at any one of these for example uh, login success and see what what's in there and we see that we have determined that Craig match which is in that reference set actually was able to log in any attempt of login is part of the of those 224 events that we saw whether it's successful or not it's, it's on the that uh, uh, category of uh, authentication uh, attempt so we th th that's that's the evidence that we have been able uh, to gather uh, regarding that and and if we wanted to even know if we have the forensic module and, and we can actually uh, right click on it and run forensic uh, recovery uh, as we have done in other videos and, and actually be uh, see exactly what this uh, user or using the credential of Craig Mac has actually done click email uh, you know ev all the actions uh, uh, from the forensic standpoint. 